time, is it? Oh, is that all? Well, some of us have got work to go to. I don't think that's funny. <clears throat> a joke, just a joke. Oh, rather you didn't. Won't be a minute. You're going down? I'll be back. You've got to be careful. I'll put the kettle on. You do hear? Yes, yes, I will. Oh, I feel terrible. The interview? Oh, I know it's silly. I didn't sleep very well. Yeah, well, I'll be back in the take. You'll feel as right as rain after a couple. Hey, I said I'll do that. It's all right. Uh, uh, what time's this interview? This afternoon. Come on, line. Oh, I'm up now. Oh, don't argue with me, woman. Have your tea in bed. Come on. Oh, it's bloody ridiculous. I mean, at our age. What? These early morning gymnastics. Is Miss Ruskin coming down the track at a sharp lick? I do a reverse turn as I'm going downstairs. Bit of a wait and then a hop, skip and jump into your room. God, it really grabs me. I mean, all this creeping about like Watergate conspirators. Oh, I'm glad we had the same success. Oh, damn! God, you really are knotted up about this afternoon, aren't you? But it's all right, don't There's no need to worry. You probably won't get it, so you might just as well relax. Meaning I'm not good enough? Meaning if you go in there thinking you're not going to get it, you've got nothing to lose, have you? You just don't think I'll get it. Oh, come on. Don't be stupid. I've seen you with kids. I know what you think about teaching. So you may have missed out on a few jobs just because some headmaster wanted an older bird or a younger bird, but you never lost one because you're a lousy teacher. Yeah, sometimes I think you're not the male chauvinist pig you make yourself out to be. Thank you. And I think I'm very fond of you. Well, now, don't commit yourself. You know what I mean. What do you want to do tonight? Do? Well, go. Where do you want to go? Hmm? Kiss me. Thank you for saying that about me. It's all right, it's all right. You know, I really am quite a nice guy. Where tonight? Oh. Well, I can't get my head past that interview. I don't know, I can't think that far ahead. How many you know if you've got it? Well, not for a while. I think I'll drag you off to a movie. A mad comedy or something. Cheer you up. I won't need cheering up. Oh, I know you. You're gonna get obsessive about it. Have I got it, haven't I? Life out. There's a mist over the mountain. Mountain? It's grey, drizzly. More tea? No. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. Good luck. I saw your father just... Bloody Mark! No. I mean, don't just barge in. What, you have a row with your father or something? That's none of your business. What am I supposed to have done? Just leave it, will you? Ruth, I don't understand. All right, doesn't surprise me. Oh, don't be so touchy. I'd be whatever I like, not what you want me to be. Listen. I've got an idiot young draftsman downstairs who's made such a hash of some designs, I'll be up all night. I'll be lucky to be finished by breakfast time tomorrow, so I don't need to be on the end of one of your moods. Because, quite frankly, when you're like this, you're a bore. No one invited you in, Brian. You know where the door is. I won't come uninvited to your room again, I promise. If you want to tell me what the trouble is tomorrow, I'll be in my room, and I'll be ready to listen. If you don't come down, I'll understand there's nothing wrong except you don't want to see me, okay? Pleasant dreams.
kidding? This is Ruth. Oh, the teacher. How do you do? Nice to meet you. And you. Uh, look, it can wait. It was about our discussion Save earlier. Save your breath. It's just that if I gave you any advice, please forget it. I was wrong. It may have been lousy yeah, advice. You're right there. It's all right. Eddie and I sorted it out between us. Going shopping tomorrow, up Oxford Street. Oh, don't be dark. More like Oxfam. <laughs> Old clothes are where we're going. Devon? Right, with farmers, boy, yeah. Oh, what a laugh. My accent, mud on me boots, straw in the air. <laughs> Come to think of it, I must have a head full of straw as it is. Supplies? Hello. You come to set the world to rights again. Good night. Good luck. Bye. Right. Go away. Ruth. Ruth. Can I come in? Look, I'm sorry. I mean, I truly am. I didn't know why you were there. on you like that. A person can change her mind, can't she? Yes, yes, of course. Look, Linda could be making a big mistake. I just hope she isn't, that's all. Yes, so do I. Well, I'm... I'm sorry for some of the things I said as well. Look... Maybe, maybe it's time we stop worrying about people like Linda and Eddie and, and started to talk about ourselves, yeah? You think so? It's open. It's phone for you. Thank you. And who is it, did they say? It, it's your husband, Don. Save yourself a trip. It's all right. How are you? Can't Hello? No, of course I don't mind you ringing. Why ever should I? But if I had made up my mind, I would have contacted you. Yes, if you like. We well, surely everything's been said, isn't it? Yes, I am in all evening, but I... All right, but no promises, okay? I'm sure you won't have some coffee. No, thanks. Something stronger? Uh, nothing, really. I was uh, hoping to hear from you. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. Still, I kept telling myself no news is good news. Is it good news? I think everything's been said, Ruth, but it hasn't. Well, not by me, anyway. When you didn't uh, phone or, uh, well, I decided to assume the worst, and uh, I tried convincing myself it was all for the best, better for us to divorce, go our separate ways. And I started going back over it all, <laughs> over all the old ground, trying to lay the ghost, I suppose. And I began thinking why it was we'd never had children. God knows why. I couldn't remember when we decided it. Does it matter? No, I suppose not. But it means it was never actually talked about, doesn't it? It was just another of those uh, unspoken assumptions between us. Presumably we did talk about it, discuss it. We felt it would interfere with our careers. <laughs> of course, our careers. Well, and our lives generally, our social lives anyway. We wouldn't be able to... To what? Go out, that sort of thing. But we didn't go out, did we, uh... We stayed in most of the time, anyway. Oh, uh, Saturday nights, perhaps uh, dinner party, a game of bridge, but that was about it. You know what I mean. No, I'm not sure I do. Just felt that children didn't fit into our scheme of things. It was as simple as that. Very cut and dried of us. Where's all this leading to, Don? Did you ever change your mind? Oh, Don, we've been living apart for four months. This is hardly no, a subject. Before that, had you changed your mind before that? Had you? Uh-uh. I asked first. I didn't think about it. Never? Never ever? Well, once or twice, perhaps. So, that makes two of us. Anyway, it's academic now. Well, that's up to us, isn't it? 
Well, in order to save our marriage, we produce children like rabbits out of a hat. Is that what you're suggesting? It's a certain recipe for disaster, you know, as well as I do. Not necessarily. Come on. The reason our marriage got rocky was because we were both too selfish, right? Well, that's a fair assessment, wouldn't you say? A trifle simple. Well, however you wrap it up, that's what it boils down to. We were too selfish, which is exactly why we didn't want children. And if we put the one thing right, we might put the other right. Sounds a bit neat to me. Nice, neat solution for a very untidy problem. Oh, it's not all that untidy a problem. We've split up. We're free agents. I just happened to think we had a lot going for us and we wasted it for one reason or another. I'm not saying it's a solution. I'm just saying it's a, a start. Or it could be. Well, think about it anyway. I'm not asking you to commit yourself just to think about it. Will you do that? Please. Now, rule number one, no self-reproach. It's destructive. If you say so. I do. What made you change your mind so suddenly? Oh, I don't know. I don't think I'd ever made it up completely. Well, you sounded as if you had. You sounded adamant. Trick of our trade. You should know that. Sounding as if you mean something when you don't. But you do mean it now. Yes. Do you remember how we used to bore each other? Well, we did, didn't we? If we were honest. And I always thought of it as if it was something out of my control, like an uninvited guest come to live with us. And we just let it happen. We just sat back and let it happen without even putting up a fight. And you feel like putting up a fight now? Yes, I rather think I do. Do you think you'll win? With a little help from a friend. <laughs> Don, there is something. There's a favour I've got to ask you. Ask away. You won't like it. Well, try me. I want to spend a few more days here. But now, I know it's stupid, but there are some things I've got to do. Like what? Like see the landlady, get my deposit back, return the keys. And there is someone I have to say goodbye to. I see. Now, you knew I hadn't been a recluse. I didn't leave you overnight, did I? I didn't just pack my bags and walk out. I thought about it. That takes time. Well, this is the same process, only in reverse order. When, then? The end of the week? I'll pick you up. No, I'd... I'd rather come on my own. All right. I'll be waiting. <laughs>